Okay, raise your hand if when you first found Notion, you said this is going to be the thing that finally gets me organized. If you're currently feeling frustrated with Notion or you just created an account and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, let me be the first to encourage you that getting organized in Notion can be a reality for you. Let's chat about how to create your dream Notion template. When you're first starting to create a Notion template, you're going to want to begin by creating a workflow. Now, if you've been around my channel, you have probably heard me talking about this before, and that is because it's really, really important. The flow of your Notion template can make it or break it, and you can create a gorgeous template, but if it doesn't feel usable to you, then let's be real, you're just not going to use it. Your workflow is going to be the backbone of your Notion template, and if you need a place to start, think about how your mind currently works. What system systems do you already have in place that you like or enjoy? And sometimes these are things that you don't even consciously think about. Maybe it's meal planning once a week or doing a brain dump before you write your task list. No matter what it may be, it can be emulated in Notion. And what's awesome is that this is individualized and unique for you. For an example of how I create my workflows with the Notion, check out my Notion for Productivity video where I deep dive into workflows. Along the lines of creating workflows, you're also also going to want to decide what each page in your Notion is going to be used for. Do you want it to be a holding ground for information or do you expect to be actively working out of this page? Now these aren't necessarily mutually exclusive things but the use is going to kind of dictate how you set up your page. For example, my life dashboard is a page that holds information for me and I've set it up so that I can visually see everything and get what I need quickly. On the other hand, for pages that I'm working out of, I structure those based on what I need to see to be able to accomplish what I'm working on. Notion is awesome because you can reference different pages within your Notion that can help you stay focused at the task at hand. And this is exactly what I do when I create pages that I'm working out of. For example, on my daily planning page, I have created a page that helps me stick to my routine and flow throughout my day in an efficient manner. As you can see, I can quickly access my meal plan, see what my workout is for the day, write in my journal, see all my tasks, and guess what? Those are all completely different databases. Gone are the days of flipping through all your pages to try to find your information. Now you can see it all in one place and tailor it to what you need. If you are wanting to use Notion as a planner like I have, I do recommend that you check out my digital planning one-on-one -on -one video where I share some do's and don'ts of planning within Notion. Another thing I actually find really important with Notion templates is the aesthetic. And trust me, this part is fun. <laughs> you want to enjoy using your Notion template and looking at it. And this doesn't have to be crazy at all. In fact, Notion actually has a lot available within itself for customization. I've got a video all about making your Notion aesthetic, mostly using features intrinsic to Notion. So that's an easy place for you to get started in the aesthetics department. Lastly, you're going to want to automate your template as much as possible. In order to have a template that feels easy to use, automation is key here. Now you may be thinking, what does that mean? Or what does that look like? To be honest, learning how to automate your Notion template comes with a little bit of experience and a little bit of practice. And you may just need to use your Notion template for a little while before you can start to see where the automations can come in. But as a general rule, look for things that you're doing over and over again. Notion has been adding lots of features lately that help with those repetitive motions, including database improvements and buttons. Here are a couple examples that I have within my Notion. Each week, I do a weekly reset, which is essentially a list of tasks I like to complete to feel ready for the upcoming week. Now, instead of creating a brand new list each week, Notion does that for me. I set up repeating templates in my weekly reset database, and now each Friday at noon, a new list is ready for me. I do the same thing with my weekly cleaning tasks. They repeat each week on Friday at noon. And when I go to do my weekly planning for that week, I can just quickly assign dates to my tasks and then I'm ready to go. Another example is with my weekly meal planning. Now, this template took me quite a while to get set up the way I wanted it to. It was a labor of love. <laughs> when I decide which meal plan I want for the week, all of the ingredients I need are automatically added to the shopping list. 
when it's time to plan for a new week. All I do is click this weekly reset button and my shopping list and meal plans are reset and ready to pick a new week. That was a super brief overview of this template. So if you want the full tour, you can check out my Notion for meal planning video. And guys, like I said, my meal planner took a long time to get right. I had some really big dreams about how to get it as automated as I possibly could. And a lot of places I looked to for information said that this could not be done. But this meal planner is living proof that you can do anything within Notion that you put your mind to. Well, pretty much everything. So do stick with it because lots of things are possible in this powerful system. All that being said, automating your Notion templates do require that you have some working knowledge of Notion and most likely that's not going to happen overnight. But you also don't need to be a Notion guru to make an awesome template. So don't stop yourself from learning or trying new things. My advice for you would be to start by learning about databases and buttons within Notion because those are where all the automation magic happens. <laughs> I've got a deep dive into Notion databases and what you need to know, so definitely go check that out to get started. And if you want me to do a deep dive on Notion buttons, let me know in the comments. They are quickly becoming a favorite of mine. Whew. Okay, I know that was a lot of information and lots of recommended material to watch. <laughs> but so many of you have told me that you love binging my Notion videos and have learned so much in the process. And honestly, I'm just humbled to be part of your Notion journey. Don't worry, I've linked all of the videos down below that I mentioned in today's video so you can cancel your date with Netflix and watch my Notion videos instead. <laughs> if you love using Notion but want something already done for you, be sure to go check out my Life Planner which just hit the shop. It is a all-in-one template that combines all of my templates into one. It's already connected and made for you and it features all of the pages that I showed you in today's video. If you don't need all of my templates in one planner, don't worry, you can mix and match my templates. Each one comes with a tutorial on how to connect them so that you can still use them together. If you found today's video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe for more videos on Notion and slow productivity. Until next time, my friends. <laughs>